Here's a generator just like the one used in the rowing machine generator. It's a little smaller, but it's the exact same design. And on the outside, there's a case that holds everything together. I've already loosened some of the screws, so things are a little bit more wib wiggly wobbly than they would normally be. Um, but there's this pretty big metal shaft and that's where you'd attach like the rowing machine. And this spins and uh, that must be what helps generate electricity. And then there's the wires coming out on the other end. And those wires are what you'd plug into, you know, a, a battery if you wanted to charge it or the Wii or, you know, whatever you're trying to power with electricity. So let's see what's going on on the inside. Take these screws out. And now the generator has kind of a cap on each end and then this outer case. Let's try to take these caps off. I'm gonna do it very carefully. And let's see. Yeah, let's see. Get it off. That's oh, very tight. Everything's really um, fits very snugly together because we they don't want anything to be moving around. So let's look in there. So Interesting, I see a bunch of copper coils and there's some magnets there. These magnets, huh, at least from the outside, they seem really, really wimpy. But, you know, trying to move this around, they're, they feel like they're really strong. So it seems like somehow one side is much stronger than the other. That's, that's interesting. And when everything is lined up, you can see that the, the coils are really close to the magnets, but nothing touches them. When you, when the, when the caps are on, you can spin this really freely and there's no grinding or anything. But right now, um, you can tell that they're touching. So they must be floating in there close, but not touching. Let's maybe take the other side off. Okay, so there's, okay, it looks like there's some sort of connection here. And that's connected to the wire that goes out to the video game console. And I want to check out these magnets a little bit more. So, oh yeah, on the inside, they are really, really strong. But only on that one side. That's really interesting. And then on this part, we have those layers again. And yeah, these these really don't feel like they're magnets. Um, and they're they're pretty thin and they're kind of gray and black layers. Uh, I see copper wire, it's pretty thick. And I think what's going on is that instead of one coil, it's many, many coils wrapped together. So you see, you can kind of see how there's one coil right here that's wrapped around. Um, you know, here's another coil wrapped around. And so there's just a bunch of individual coils. Oh yeah, and if you, if you look here, each coil seems to be attached to one of these metal plates. And oh, look at, there's that black mark there. That's interesting. Oh, I bet, okay. So that, that black mark, I bet that's from these little contactor things. So these are connecting the wires to the coils right there. And they're leaving that little black dust behind where they rub. And so that's, that lets the coils spin without, you know, twisting up all the wires. That's really interesting. So, you know, this generator, like I said, it, it's a little bit smaller than the one that is used in the rowing machine generator, but it's the exact same design. Everything would just be a little bit bigger in the rowing machine. 